the Surecrafted team, or actually, I don't really know what to call them these days. Um, the team behind the Sure Cart, Sure Members, Sure Triggers, Sure Dash, now Sure Mails, has released the official, I guess, launch version of Sure Mails, and it's available now for us to start playing around with. It's totally free, and what it is is it's a plugin for your WordPress site that essentially facilitates the connection between SMTP providers. Those are the the tools that actually send your emails, and it facilitates the connection between your website and the tools on your website and sending that data over to those uh, SMTP provider tools so that your emails can actually get sent. I'm going to show you exactly how it works. We're going to walk through the whole process, look at the features, talk about it, but I wanted to talk about really quickly how it works. This is the part of every one of these types of videos that I always get asked about. So you have a WordPress website. Your WordPress website can send emails, but it also really can't. Why? Well, that's because your host and where your WordPress site is hosted and the way WordPress is made really kind of is just terrible. And it never really makes the connection between your WordPress site and the rest of everything else that you're working with, your plugins like, you know, Shirtash, Fluent Community, Fluent CRM, whatever you're using, whatever transactional emails you're trying to send, uh, like lost password resets, comment notifications, account creations and passwords, WooCommerce receipts and sales, things like that. Your website was never really made properly to handle sending and facilitating those emails. So introducing SureMail. Now, SureMail is not the first plugin to do this. There's plenty of premium options like the one from WP Forms, like called, I think it's called WP Mail. There's Fluent SMTP, which I think is a great plugin. I, I recommend it. I've made a video about it before. If you're currently using Fluent SMTP and you say to yourself, I don't need to change to another SMTP facilitator, cool awesome you're you're set you can probably ignore this video except for the fact that there's a feature i'm going to show you that i think is pretty cool a little gimmicky but pretty cool uh, that you may find interesting and worth switching over to SureMails for okay so what's the gist of how this works with all these other tools essentially any email from your wordpress site whether facilitated through you know a marketing tool a community tool or these transactional emails will flow from your wordpress site through SureMails, from SureMails over to the smtp providers and then after that, it flows out. So, well, it, this is kind of confusing because technically these flow to SureMails and then SureMails flows to these. But essentially, the emails are sent out, and so which is why I show the arrows going this way. They're sent out because they are sent by these SMTP services. You may be saying, well, do I need one of these services if I have SureMails? Yes, because SureMails has to connect to one of these in order to work. And yes, these do cost extra. And you know, you may be thinking, what the heck, why? I've got Gmail, I've got Google Workspace, doesn't that connect? Well, first off, I purposely leave Google Workspace and Gmail off of this list of SMTP providers because they'll just downright ban you. If you try to send out lots of emails through SMTP, they'll just, it causes all kinds of chaos and problems. They actually on their website say they don't recommend it. So Google's not an option, but there are a ton of good options like Amazon AWS. I have a video on how to set that up, Postmark, Really great tool. Mailgun. I use Mailgun. It's a great tool. Brevo has a free plan. You can do like 300 emails a day, I think. Really, really good for transactional emails and emails from something like SureDash. Elastic email. There's a ton of different email services, and I'm going to show you the ones that SureMails connects into. And by the way, SureMails, I really wish they would have just cut this S right off. I like SureMail better than SureMails, but... I may use them interchangeably, but essentially you need to get an SMTP service like SendGrid or Postmark or AWS, and that will cost extra, or you can have a free plan if you pick the right tool. Um, but essentially you have to have one of those. You have to have credentials, and that's part of this setup process. So now let's dive into taking a look at SureMails. Here it is. I've just literally put it on a demo site of mine. I just turned it on, and I've gone to the uh, SureMails dashboard. It's going to have the same type of stuff that all of these SMTP plugins have. They're going to have logs. There's going to be an overview. There's going to be uh, settings, connections, and all of that. I want to get started on connections. Connections is where uh, you're essentially going to connect to those SMTP providers that I talked about before. So the first step I would say is let's add a connection. And here's that list of providers. Again, Amazon SES, uh, probably the one I'm going to choose, but I do personally have a SendGrid account. I use Mailgun for sending most all of my email marketing emails. I connect high level through Mailgun to do that. I'm using high levels white labels, so that's neither here nor there. Uh, but Brevo, like I said, has a free plan, uh, and there's just a bunch of other ones. Elastic email's pretty good. Um, Postmark's phenomenal, but pricey. Uh, just just do yourself a favor, uh, don't use Gmail. This is not, this should not be an option. Um, so. 
that's the list that they currently integrate with. You can see at the time of making this video, uh, which is kind of like the week that it officially launched, they only have a handful and the rest are still marked as planned. This is a pretty comprehensive list. I, you don't see too many more options, especially when you can just click other SMTP provider and enter in any SMTP details that you want. That's kind of like the catch-all. But essentially, this is a pretty comprehensive list. On my own WordPress website, I'm currently using Fluent SMTP. I am going to swap over to SureMails because I do like a feature that I'm going to show you a little bit later in the video. Um, but I do have Amazon SES connected to that one. That's likely what I'll continue to use. Um, but I do have a SendGrid account. I think for simplicity, I'm just going to choose SendGrid um, just because it's super easy to enter in my API key and get going. So I'm going to enter in my API key. I'm not going to do it in front of you, that's for sure. Um, but then I'm going to enter in a from email. And I'll say force this from email, that's fine. Now I often get asked, what is this force from email option? Let's read it together and talk about it. Enable this option to force all emails sent from your site to use the from email specified in this connection, which overrides the from email set by any other plugins. What does this mean? Well, if you are sending emails through something like, I don't know, Fluent CRM, and you're saying, well, I want those emails to come from support at convology.com. If I check this box that says force the from email to be dug at convology.com, this will override that. Why? Because all of the emails are going to be facilitated through SureMails before they're sent over to the SMTP providers, thus basically overriding anything else. I'll let you choose if you want that on. I'll just leave it on. I'll put the from name dug at convology, same thing on the force name from option here, and then the connection sequence for the from email. So if you make multiple connections into SureMails, like let's say I connect SureMails to Amazon SES, and I connect SureMails into uh, Postmark, and then into SendGrid, right? I may say, you know what, I want uh, Amazon SES to be number one, and I want SendGrid to be number two. So I could put here, I could say, uh, this one is going to be number two, and just say the lowest sequence will be used first. So maybe I'll set SES to be one, and SendGrid to be two, and Postmark to be three, and these are essentially fallbacks for each other, like uh, backups. So let's say your uh, Amazon SES account gets suspended. You don't realize it overnight. You've got a big campaign set to go out for the launch of your brand new product. And you have a backup provider in place like SendGrid. It will default to SendGrid if SES fails. All right, so I'm going to enter in my API key and then I'm going to click Save Changes. All right, my email connection has been established. I am going to click Send Test Email. I like to do that. And I'm going to click Send Test Email right there and see... If I get an error, it does say it went successfully. That's a good sign. I went ahead and swapped over to my actual main site. I figured if I'm going to make this video anyway, I might as well just set up my actual uh, SureMails for my main site anyway. So I've, I have gone ahead and connected uh, AWS to my main website here using the same process we just went through. And I'm going to go ahead and now at this point disable Fluent SMTP. So Fluent SMTP has been deactivated uh, simply because I don't really feel like it's a good idea to have both of those in place. Now to get back to SureMails, I'm going to go to Settings, then at the bottom it says SureMails. I suspect they put it there because that's where most of these plugins put their options versus creating just yet another thing on the left sidebar. Although I do have Sure Triggers, Sure Forms, and on my other sides I'll have like Sure Cart, Sure Dash, you know, it, it, it adds up after a while. Um, but that's where you find it there under settings and sure and sure mails. All right, let's go ahead and go under settings. I want to walk you through this real quick. There is a section here for logging your emails. I will say if you send a lot of emails through something like Fluent CRM or another WordPress based email marketing tool, this could actually add up if you choose to never delete your logs. I worked with someone who never deleted their logs and it got so big that their host told them they had to uh, because it was going to shut their site down. I would recommend nothing more than 30 days. If you're just massively sending emails, seven days or just after one day is probably a better option. Um, dare I say you may even disable logging emails in the future. But for now, I would say leave them on. I'm going to delete my logs after seven days. My default, my default connection is AWS, uh, and I'm good to go on the logs. So I'll hit save there, and then my logs will appear under email logs where I can review them, which we'll take a look at once we send in a test. Now let's talk about the feature that I think makes it worth changing to SureMails from a tool like Fluent uh, SMTP, even if Fluent SMTP is working totally fine for you. And that is this tool that is called Reputation Shield. And Reputation Shield is basically just their little AI algorithm thing that's going to check to make sure any of the email your site is sending is compliant with the email 
SMTP tools. So for example, Amazon AWS, they'll shut you down if you send certain content over their platform. They're all basically the same. None of them want hate content. None of them want um, scammy links. None of, them, none of them want violence. None of them want you know anything crude, lewd, or bad, right? So we don't want that stuff going through our website. Well, unfortunately, if someone leaves a comment on your website or fills out a form and includes some of that information, it can, although I will say it's rare, it can trigger uh, these problems. So in order to avoid getting in trouble with our you know, SMTP server, we are instead going to activate Reputation Shield. And Reputation Shield is going to try to stop and mitigate those emails from even going out, even if it's just a notification to us. Like if Amazon AWS just sends me a notice that says, hey, John Doe sent in a comment on your latest blog post, and he told you he's going to slap you. Well, that triggered a violence thing at AWS, and now you're, you, know, you could have been suspended. Um, so we stopped it from basically going out. So I'm going to activate this protection, or what is it called, <laughs> reputation shield. Um, I, you know, they want you to put your name and email in. I'm just going to say skip and activate. OK, so we are activated. Now let's go ahead and submit a form. So I'm going to come over here to my website, and I'm going to fill out a form. And this form just happens to be a sure form. I'll put my email in there, and then I'll say, I have a question about a product or service from Combology, and I'm going to hit send request. All right, and spoilers, I checked my mail and it did come through totally fine. Came through just like it should, uh, because I had AWS configured properly, and yours would work too if you had all of your SMTP things set up properly with your DMARC, your DKIM, all those fancy DNS records entered in. I have another video that I'll link in the top right of your video player that you can click on. Uh, and I'll put it down below in the what to watch next section um, where you can learn how to get AWS set up and connected successfully with all those fancy records. But okay, this was, this went perfectly fine. This worked great. So essentially what happened? Well, I filled out a form. It facilitated through SureMails. SureMails then sent it through over to Amazon AWS. And then Amazon AWS sent it off, you know, out to me, to my inbox, uh, to my Google Workspace account. Everything flowed through perfectly, went through AWS and came in. Now let's go ahead and do a test again. And this time we're going to submit this form and we're going to send something uh, that maybe I shouldn't, right? I, I sure hope this works. So here we go. Let's see Let's see if Reputation Shield stops Doug the sneaky sneak from sending the message, I'm gonna slap you, you stink. Let's click send request. The form is going to say it's sent successfully, but let's cross our fingers. I'm going to come back into my website. I'm going to go over to settings and go into sure mails. And let's go into our, oh, nope, there it is actually right there. Uh, there was my first one. Like I said, it was successful. Here's my second one. It said blocked. And if I go to email logs and I look into this email here where it says blocked, let's click the little view details. Uh, so here's my form. Uh, surprise. It says sent by WordPress, Doug at Combology. I don't know if I forced my from name or my from email. We'll take a look at that in a second. Um, but here's the email that went through and it failed due to harassment, harassment, threatening and violence. I also think it should have been marked as hate because it was telling me that I stink. My only feedback to the SureMails team, it would be nice if we could get some kind of like weekly email from SureMails from our own website at that point, basically that said, hey, just let you know that we facilitated sending 10,000 emails this month or this week and you know, 10 of them are blocked. And that way I could know to come back in and look for blocked reasons because this is you this is where it gets gimmicky i don't know if this is like a really good ai what if it's blocking emails that shouldn't be blocked i want control i'm a little bit of a control freak like that so i want to know that it's not blocking legit emails um but in this case that was an email that should have been blocked and never sent and it did its job so that's really all there is to sure mails that's really all there is to any smtp facility i don't know what these plugins are called smtp facilitators they basically just make it so your website can reliably send emails by connecting to a paid or quasi paid service, which is basically an SMTP service. Uh, what this video doesn't cover though, are those steps of connecting that SMTP service, Postmark, Brevo, AWS, SendGrid, et cetera, to your domain, entering in all the records you need to authenticate with inboxes to make sure that your emails actually get delivered. So this does not help with deliverability or any of that kind of stuff. 
if you haven't done all the things you're already supposed to do with those other additional third-party tools that you need to have. So hopefully this video was helpful. I hope that little diagram that I made, that little chart, I hope that was helpful too. If it was, let me know. I want to try to include more stuff like that that makes it visually interesting. Um, but if you have any other questions related to SureMails or SMTP tools or recommendations or things like that, feel free to leave a comment down below.